Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I'm going to be making a Barbie doll cake for a friend of mine. Her daughter just turned six today and she loves Barbies. So this cake is going to be for her. It's pretty easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Before I move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. Begin by baking your cakes. Now I use three Funfetti cake mixes, so three boxes worth. Um, you can probably get away with just two and you don't have to use a cake mix. You can use any of my from scratch cakes if you like or whatever your favorite cake recipe is, but you'll need at least double or maybe even triple depending on the height of your Barbie. And once you bake them, make sure you let them cool completely. And now it's time to decorate. So this tutorial is more of like decorating the Barbie cake, not actual the cake itself, because I have plenty other videos that show you how to make an actual cake. All right, and so this is the Barbie I'm gonna be using, um, Dreamtopia Barbie. I don't know anything about Barbies. But anyway, this is one that I found um, that I thought would be nice to do. And here, this is her normal, normal dress. And then what you wanna do is you wanna wrap the Barbie from her waist down in some plastic wrap because the Barbie is gonna stick in the cake. And now I have, I baked four eight inch cakes and then one six inch cake. Again, that took three boxes, but I'm only gonna need probably two and a half. And now we want to cut out the middle. So put that right in the middle here. And I'm just using a biscuit cutter. And then you can save these and you make them cake pops with them, whatever you wanna do, but save the cake. And then I wanna make sure to take off this parchment paper. And then I have some buttercream frosting. You'll be using a lot of frosting and I have a recipe for buttercream frosting here on my channel or you can just use store-bought. And I'm gonna come over here and just put a little bit down just so my cake can stick to it. And I am using a cake board on a rotating turntable. It just makes it easier to, to frost this style of cake. And then now I wanna put some frosting all on the top here. So I'm just going to go like this. And let's just frost the top here. And you can make this frosting as thick as you want or as thin as you want in the middle. Also, I wanna mention, if your cake is really domed quite a bit, then you'll want to level it with a knife. Now, we take the next layer. This is a thicker layer, still eight inch, but I just put more batter into it to make this one thicker. And then this one, I'm gonna put down this side down. I think I'm gonna pipe some in the corners here. All right, got some more frosting on the top. Take out that middle. This one is domed just a little too much. I'm gonna come in here with my bread knife and just flatten out that dome a little bit. Now this one, I don't mind if there's a dome on the top because that's gonna be perfect and it helps with the bell shape of our cake dress. And so I just wanna go right in the middle here. And that looks perfect. And now we wanna start trimming it and doming it. We just kinda of want like a dome or like a bell shape. And so you can use a bread knife or like a carver knife. And I'm just gonna kinda of go down here. And the extra cake bits you can use for cake pops.
So then just trim it until you're happy with it. You know how sometimes dresses are puffier in the back than in the front? So you can do like a more gradual angle on the back. So if like this is the back of a dress and then more of a sharp down angle in the front. It's kind of the look that I'm going for right here. So that's probably pretty good. Let me clean up this bottom here. Come in with some paper towel and we'll wipe the bottom of this cake board. And we come in with some like clean hands, very clean hands. And you want to just kind of push around and kind of stick any extra crumbs. Make sure they're sticking there. And then wear, wear gloves if you don't want to touch this with your hands. But my hands are very clean. We're just going to shape it a little bit too. And now we want to frost the whole thing. I'm just going to use the same buttercream frosting. Once you have a bunch of frosting all over it, you can use your cake spatula and just go around and smooth it out. Or I have one of these, just a plastic thing. You can just come in here and just go like this to try to just smooth it out. It's just, you can just go really light with it. So you can see how a a turntable works really well. Also, there's another tool that's plastic like this that you can also use to help smooth everything out. And then I'm going to take the Barbie. and put her right down in there. Now I want to mix up some frosting, some purple frosting. And I just have this purple gel food coloring. I'm just gonna put some in there right now. And now I'm gonna put this in my piping bag. And I have the Wilton 1M tip. It's a very popular tip for making um, flowers. Or you can also use a different one, which is the Wilton 2D, this one. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to double bag the double bag technique. That way you can swap the bags out and not mess up and, and leave the tip where it is. And so I'm going to put this in here. Okay, and then I'll take this one and this will go right in there. And I'm just gonna do a basic little flower pattern. And so I'm gonna just take my bag here. And to do that, I'm gonna kneel down here just so it's a little easier. You wanna be perpendicular. You can go right here in the middle and go around like that. And it just takes a little practice. I'm, I'm not the best designer by any means. Now I'm gonna to switch to the strawberry. And you wanna make sure that you go right on the cake before you draw, because the flower needs something to hold on to. And then the motion again for this is you go straight down perpendicular and then squeeze and turn. And then I'm gonna switch back to purple All right, and then I have another color, this pink, neon pink. And I'm gonna do a little bit different flower to polish it off. Okay, so there we go. And then you'll notice there, there might be some gaps. And what you can do is you can, I'm gonna come in here Again, with this little star tip. And I'm just gonna go straight down. Just punch it. Just fill in those gaps up here. And then I switch to a white color and I can fill in more gaps with the white if there are any. I kinda like the white it makes it look like the stars from that dress. And now to finish it off, I have these, they're called um, sugar pearls. 
Wilton makes them. Again, this is purely optional. Just makes it look kind of neat. I'm gonna just start dropping these in a variety of places. All right, there we go. I am done. Now I'm going to take this little twisty tie off of her hair so we can let her hair down. And then put her little tiara. I think that's what it's called, or crown or whatever we want to call it. Right on top. And there we go. That is the Barbie doll cake. Again, there's a lot of different designs that you can do with it. You know, they take some practice. I'm not the best designer, but uh, you can have fun with it and practice on your own. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care.